Hi guys, and welcome back to this wonderful series looking down memory lane at glory stories of old. In club football's greatest tournament, the Champions League, or as it has always been known, the European Cup. Today, we are going to talk about perhaps the most forgotten European title of all time, Romanian club Stoia Bucharest's 1986 triumph. Yes, that's right, a Romanian team has won the European Cup, and no, it wasn't in ancient history either. Stawa became the first ever team from the Eastern Bloc to win the tournament. They had been in ferocious form domestically, and since the arrival of manager Emmerich Gine in 1983, they had been unbeaten at home in Romania. Gine played for the club and also had a stint as their coach in the decade before, winning two league titles in that period. Gine's all Europe conquering side of 86 were given the nickname the Speeds, highly acclaimed for their brilliant style of one-touch football. Nowadays, it might be a rarity to even see a Romanian team in the Champions League, never mind to see them competing for the trophy. And no, Romania are not a nation we would typically associate with footballing brilliance. But back in 1986, they conquered all the greats, even the late great Diego Maradona and his Barcelona side. Maradona was Barca's star around the time that Stoia Bucharest won the European Cup. He had joined the club from Napoli in 1982 and had helped Barca to win the Copa del Rey in 1983. But on a historic day for Stoia, he would only pick up a loser's medal. More on the final later though. Firstly, how on earth did Stoia Bucharest end up getting to a European Cup final? Stoia Bucharest, founded in 1947, have won 26 domestic league titles and 22 domestic cups. In Romania, they are widely regarded as the biggest club in the country, and they also helped to produce the biggest star in Romanian football history, Georgi Hagi. But more on him to come later too. Stoia Bucharest's path to the final was a challenging one. On September the 18th, 1985, Stoia Bucharest began their campaign against Danish side Vejla. They drew 1-1 away from home but returned to Romania to earn a fantastic 4-1 victory in the second leg. The nature of this result gave the Stoia fans confidence in their quest for European glory. Despite a fantastic start, Stoia weren't exactly in amongst the favourites to go on and win the tournament. They were a dark horse at very most. Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid stood in their way and were more obvious winners. They had more money and better players than the Romanians. Stoia's interesting history of being a branch of the Romanian Army Sports Club CSA Stoia Bucharesti did help them to even the odds. The club had access to the best young talent in Romania through this army link and the most gifted young players would spend their army service playing football with the club. Hungarian champions Honved would be Stoia's second round opponents and Bucharest would be defeated in Hungary in the first leg. A 1-0 loss wasn't an ideal result but Stoia bounced back, dismantling their opponents on home soil with a 4-1 victory. In the quarterfinals, Stoia would face FC Kushi from Finland. They were big favourites for this one but were held to a 0-0 draw at home in the first leg. It seemed like Stoia had made a habit out of making things difficult for themselves with some of their first leg results. But like true champions, they always seemed to come back in style. It wasn't until late in the second leg in Finland that they would do so once more. A late winner put them in to the European Cup semi-finals. In the semis, Stoia would come up against a very strong Andelect side from Belgium. In fact, Andelect had beaten Bayern Munich in the previous round. They were not to be taken lightly. Yet again, you guessed it, Stoia managed to start slow losing the first leg 1-0 in Brussels. But yet again, they turned things around. A stunning 3-0 second leg victory would take Stoia into a historic European Cup final against FC Barcelona in Seville. The victory was convincing and the Romanians would march to the final with hope of more than just a big occasion. They were going for glory. Meanwhile, in Barcelona, the Catalan side had just recorded a historic victory of their own. A record 120,000 people watched them overturn a 3-0 first leg deficit in the Camp Nou. On the night, Pichi Alonso's hat-trick was enough for a 3-0 victory of their own, and they would defeat their opponents Gothenburg on penalties to reach the final. That's right, it was a Milan-Liverpool style 3-3. Not that they did it all in 90 minutes, but still pretty impressive. That magical night had Barcelona thinking that their name was on the trophy, especially against Stoia Bucharest in the final. How did that one work out for them? Despite the presence of top, top players, Barcelona were unable to find the back of the net against Stoia Bucharest in the 1986 European Cup final. 
the match itself was a tightly contested affair, with both teams unable to break the deadlock during 120 minutes of play. Steyr Bucharest put in a resilient defensive performance, with goalkeeper Helmut Dukadam making a series of crucial saves to keep Barca at bay. Dukadam was remarkable, eventually saving all four of Barcelona's penalties in the shootout to secure victory for his team. It was a miracle and a shock to Barca after their amazing semi-final experience that ended in penalty shootout victory. And so, Steyr Bucharest emerged as unlikely heroes, with Dukadam saving all four of Barca's penalties. Needless to say, Romanian players and fans erupted in jubilation at the final whistle. They were European champions, and the first from the East to do so. This victory also served to bring some attention to Romanian football in general, which would go on to peak in the 90s at international level. This victory was a source of great pride for the whole nation and has gone down in history as one of the greatest upsets in a European final. Since their historic European Cup win, Steyr Bucharest have had mixed fortunes. They continued to be a dominant force in Romanian football through the 90s, winning numerous domestic titles and qualifying for the group stages of the Champions League on several occasions. However, the club has also had its share of financial and administrative issues. In 2019, the club was renamed FC FCSB after losing the rights to use the Steyr Bucharest name in a legal battle with the Romanian Ministry of Defence, which owned the trademark to the Steyr brand. Nonetheless, 1986 European Cup triumph remains a cherished memory for fans. The team's historic performance against Barca in the final is still remembered as one of the greatest moments in European football history. Georgi Hagi was not a key figure in that European Cup. He was just pushing through the ranks at the time. Much like Eusebio at Benfica, he broke through more in the year after the club's greatest success. But Hagi would go on to win titles with Steyr and become Romania's best ever player. Hagi went on to win the Copa del Rey with Real Madrid and four Turkish league titles and a UEFA Cup with Galatasaray. But most notably, he helped Romania reach the quarter-finals of the 1994 World Cup in the USA. He scored three goals in the tournament, including a stunning strike against Colombia in the group stages and a historic goal against Argentina to knock them out and reach the quarter-finals. The talisman would also enjoy spells at Barcelona and Sevilla, where he was a great friend and teammate to Diego Maradona. Hadji now has an academy in Romania and is trying to bring the footballing glory days back to his country. Like for the rest of Eastern European sides, the Champions League has been a very cruel mistress in recent years, and the top five leagues based in Western Europe have dominated the competition. Shakhtar Donetsk, Zenit St. Petersburg and Dinamo Zagreb are all examples of giants in their own respective Eastern nations that have not come close to competing at the level once achieved by Steyr. Steyr Bucharest's 1986 European Cup triumph is a testament to the power of determination, teamwork and belief. Their story reminds us that in football anything is possible and that even the most unlikely of underdogs can achieve greatness. As their remodeled club makes their way back to the top of Romanian football, their fans and players will dream of a famous European night happening again. Perhaps one of the greatest victories in European Cup history, the Steyr side of 1986 are in the history books forever.